welcome back to Dan's Solo Gaming, uh, back with another Final Girl episode. Uh, this time we're finally going to Sacred Groves and fighting against Inkanyamba, the Avenger. Um, Inkanyamba and Sacred Groves, despite coming together, um, I tend to think the setting and the villain in this case would actually respectively be easier to deal with on their own. The, the setting with a different villain and Inkanyamba in a different setting because... Uh, both the setting and the killer in this case uh, have their own wrath track, which uh, can make things extremely difficult. Each of them can. Uh, when they reach certain levels and then are unleashed, um, they'll cause different effects that can certainly adversely affect the, uh, the player, uh, ranging from just losing time to raising the horror level um, to causing the villain to move around and attack and to cause you to lose all of your action cards except atonement. <laughs> so uh, they can definitely make things challenging. Uh, I've actually not yet beaten in Kanyamba at Sacred Groves, uh, despite playing uh, several games uh, off camera uh, with this villain and setting. Um, and I've tried a few different final girls, uh, all of whom again were unsuccessful in, uh, in defeating him. Um, both Adelaide and the other one that's escaping me at the moment. Oh, Barbara. Um, Barbara, who we used at uh, um, Camp Happy Trails. Um, Adelaide and Barbara are the two, I guess you could say, native final girls to uh, this setting, and I've tried and failed with both of them. Uh, I've used Lori, also from Camp Happy Trails, in this setting. Um, so, giving it another shot on camera this time with Reiko, who is the other final girl from... Uh, Camp Happy Trails. Um, she has a final ability that allows her to uh, essentially warp to an enemy if it's uh, within two spaces of her, and then you can, of course, use a sprint or a walk card to quickly move away from them after dealing damage. Um, so kind of a stick-and-move strategy that I tend to think might be somewhat uh, effective against Inkanyamba. Uh, Inkanyamba himself, uh, starts out fairly low. He only gets one hit power, um, during his, uh, lower ranks of the Bloodlust track, but he has high movement. Even with Bloodlust at its lowest setting at the beginning, he still moves two spaces per turn. Um, so, again, that can make things a bit, uh, difficult. Um, for this particular game, I've drawn, uh, Mabo Tourists for the, uh, game setup. So we have a big group of six uh, victims, uh, potential victims, piled up right in the center space of the board, and then just a few stragglers kind of surrounding them. Fortunately with this setup, Inkanyama does start relatively far away from at least the bulk of the victims, although he can potentially get to this guy with one movement even at the beginning. Uh, we also have Hallowed Ground drawn as the uh, opening uh, event, uh, which turns, in this case I already rolled for it, the Sacred Shrine. You know, you roll a dice to determine which of the holy spaces. I already did that, so for us it's the Sacred Shrine gets the uh, Hallowed Ground marker. Anytime I end a phase on a, on action phase on the, that space, I actually gain two additional times. So actually a bit of a helpful event in that case. So, uh, I guess without further ado, I think we have everything set up. The uh, the Wrath cards both start on the uh, second um, setting. Uh, we have our uh, horror level at four, which, uh, yeah, that is correct. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll uh, get started. And Reiko, my character, is starting here. So I think my first order of business will be to go to the Welcome Center, where there's one victim hanging out and grabbing the out-of-order signs that are uh, there. So, we'll roll for a walk. And we get a walk. We can move one space, which is exactly what I want to do. So, that is expanded. Uh, I did the time marker already. Uh, then I think I want to hang out there till next turn so I can use a search. I don't have a search yet, of course, since we just started. Um, I'll go ahead and use a focus to try to bring the horror level down a little bit. And that's a, uh, I can discard two cards. I'll discard the second focus and my short rest to, uh, turn that into a success, so... 
that down and that down. And then finally I have a weak attack and a walk. Um, I think I'll actually discard the weak attack to uh, gain an extra time for the uh, action purchase phase. So I have, uh, I'll end my action phase there. I have uh, five time units to uh, purchase actions with. So I will grab, I think, a search because I definitely want to do that on the next turn. I'll grab a sprint, so that's four, and a close call will be five. So bump this back up to six to restart. And unfortunately, this is the part where it always starts going south, <laughs> the, uh, the killer's uh, phase. Let me just uh, sort these back into the market. Um, all right, so in Kanyamba, if the uh, killer wrath is at one or two, increase it by one. Uh, it is at two, so we increase it by one. Nothing happens yet, fortunately, since it's not being unleashed. He then targets the closest... Uh, victim or the final girl uh, and slashes at them fortunately not getting a movement yet so we'll go to the uh killer phase i don't know how but i've angered him uh he moves one sp uh, he gets one movement towards me he'll actually move two spaces and then he'll attack twice uh increase equal to the amount of damage inflicted so he'll move uh let's see these actually don't connect do they um so yeah he'll go here, okay, so that's not too bad. <laughs> uh, so make the uh, discard pile there. Okay, so uh, we've done the killer phase, panic phase. Fortunately, he didn't hit anybody yet. Um, upkeep phase, uh, I don't think we have anything to upkeep. So we're back at the top of the order. So first and foremost, I will use my search to uh, try to pick up the item that is on top of the welcome center, that being the out of order signs. And we can pick that up. So the out of order signs, um, for one time unit, I can place or retrieve an out of order token on a connection between the space I'm in and an adjacent one. Uh, victims will not pass through unless I'm following, unless they're following me. Um, doesn't affect the killer's movement, but it can at least protect victims from getting near him, potentially. Uh, so I'll put that in my backpack and, uh, put the two markers on top of it here. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, so the search is done. Um, I have a sprint and a walk. Um, I'll see if I can sprint and get to the Sacred Shrine and end my turn there to actually end up with, uh, some extra time. So let's see if we can accomplish that. Uh, that is a fail unless I discard. So, actually I could, uh, use a close call. I'll go ahead and do that and re-roll one of these. Ugh. All right, um, well, my uh, action phase will be over anyway, so I'll go ahead and just lose the two time and uh, health and uh, move one space at least, so I'll go there. And my turn's over. I had another walk card, but I don't think I was going to use it yet anyway, so that's all right. Okay, so for purchasing, I have three time left. Um, I'll grab, I guess I'll grab a sprint and the other close call for my three. That's a uh, two and one. And I get my zero costs back. And I'll sort these back now that we're done there. Maybe I should have grabbed a search. Uh, Eh, I'll worry about that later. Um, all right, so killer phase. Um, the uh, wrath is on three, so it does not increase on its own this time. So I think we're just going to go straight to the uh, terror card. And terror card is wrath of blood. Unleash the killer wrath. Uh, so the horror level goes up by one, since it's on the three. Then we increase the... Uh, 
muscular uh, wrath equal to the bloodlust level. Fortunately, it's still on one, so that goes up there. Then Inkanyamba moves, uh, he gets one move and then attacks. Um, so he'll go to the lost and found and kill this guy. Uh, pop that back up while I'm here. And that does bring the bloodlust level up by one. Now with the bloodlust up by one, we have this special little uh, card here uh, that attaches to the uh, killer's uh, bloodlust track that goes with Sacred Grove. So in this case, reaching that second level, we increase the... Uh, Divine Wrath by the number of victims on sacred spaces. Fortunately, with the mob of tourists, we only have these two guys to worry about, so this will go up by two. And then that's discarded, and uh, I think we're back up at the top again. Um, yeah, so, let's see. I have a close call, I have a sprint, a focus, a short rest, a weak attack. Um, I think I'll go to the uh, Sacred Shrine space there. I'll use a walk to do that. My idea is to pick up this guy, and then I'll use a sprint to try to get to the, to the exit, and then I can buy a search on my next turn, uh, or rather buy a search to use on my next turn. All right, so we can walk one space, which is what I wanted to do anyway. So there we go. That's expended. Uh, then I'll use a sprint. One, two, three. So if I get a double success, I'll uh, be able to rescue these two guys. Oof. <laughs> Or I guess a close call and a uh, focus to uh, turn that into a single success at least. And that'll get these two guys away from Inkanyamba. So, lose a time. Uh, these get expended and I can move two spaces. So, one, two, I'm back at the welcome center. And yeah, I'll go ahead and use my other walk and see if I can bring these two to the exit. Ugh. Um, I'll discard the focus and the weak attack. I'll discard the short rest and the weak attack, actually, to uh, turn that into a success. I'll keep the other focus. So I'll move one space here. These two guys get rescued. And uh, what benefits do I want from them? I lost a health already, but I think I'm okay overall there so I'll go ahead and I'll get a, an extra two time units so I'll bring up to five and I'll take one of the move one space ones so I'll actually move back to the welcome center so uh do I want to use the focus now um no I gotta do it I think actually I might as well go ahead and use it um See if we can bring the horror level down a bit, and we can. So, yeah, we lose a time. This comes down. All right, and that's the end of the action phase. Um, after this, I guess my next priority should be probably to try to get to this uh, big group of uh, victims. Although Inkanyamba can get to them on his next movement. Um, that could scatter them, though, if he kills one of them. Um, and that might actually make it easier to rescue some more dudes. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, market phase, I have four time to make purchases. I'll grab a uh, search, and I'll grab a sprint so I can move a little bit. These all are expended. All right, so Inky's term, uh, his turn, rather, um, I think we go right to the terror card. Uh, oh boy. Uh, minor dark power. Outrageaholic. Every time the uh, killer wrath is increased, increase it by an additional one, and it has three hit points on it, so I'm gonna have to grab an extra heart out of the uh, bag here. I think I have two in my uh, lid up there. So try to do this. Uh, I'll just move the camera. Sorry.
All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so uh, that's not ideal. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start trying to do some damage to Inkanyamba very soon, I think. So hopefully searching the Welcome Center again will uh, turn up an item that'll help deal damage. Um, so yeah, I think we are back at the top, so I will go ahead and use my search card and hopefully grab uh, Reiko's axe should be mixed in, her special item should be mixed into these somewhere. So with luck and a prayer, we can grab it. Let's see what this is, an energy drink. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, discard this during the action phase and choose one of the following. Either uh, gain three time or lose one, uh, move one space. So it should be at five, by the way. Um, that's better than nothing, like I said. Um, yeah, the search is expanded. So I think I'm going to move this way and try to grab these two guys on my way to this exit space, and that'll almost complete my uh, card. Uh, Reiko only needs to rescue five to uh, unlock her final. So I'll go ahead and use a sprint and see how far we can move. Not far at all, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll... Uh, I'll sacrifice the health to uh, move one space at least for two time, and end my turn automatically. Uh, well, that could have been better. All right, so per for purchasing, I have three time to uh, buy things. I'll grab uh, I'll grab a sprint and a close call for the three, and I get my other zero costs. So sprint search go back. Um yeah, in Kanyamba's turn. Go to the terror card. He's coming and there's nothing we can do. If there are no victims on the board, discard, uh no worries there. Otherwise the uh, horror level goes up by one. And Inkanyama gets one movement towards the nearest victim and attacks. So he'll go to this big group here. Again, he's still moving two spaces. So he gets one attack, so he'll kill one of them. That bumps up the bloodlust again. This should be at six, just for my purposes. And that ends the killer phase, but we get a big panic phase since he has five other dudes on that space. So uh, I'll roll two at a time for first two. So we have uh, two and four, so. One of them goes to the Sacred Shrine, which is not great, because that is a space that can allow a... the uh, Divine Wrath to go up. Uh, the other gets two, so he goes here. Actually, that can be helpful for me. Um, then uh, roll again for two more. Three and six. Another one to the Sacred Shrine. Six goes to the Burial Ground. <coughs> Pardon. And then finally, this last dude goes six. So he comes to Burial Ground as well. And I'm going to take the opportunity to grab a uh, drink of my uh, one of my go-tos, Polar Raspberry Lime here. Go. All right, so panic phase is done, upkeep phase, I don't think we have anything um, there. So back to the top of the order. Um, I have some options this turn. First and foremost, I want to rescue some people, so uh, I'll use a sprint and see if I can get, ideally, all the way to this space here. Uh, uh. re-roll with a close call, see if I can get one star that way, and then possibly discard two cards. Ah, damn it. Alright, I'll discard the weak attack, and uh, I guess a focus. 
So I can move two spaces at the very least. Uh, there should be three, I think. Um, so here, here, and I'll try to grab these two guys uh, with a walk. Um, so I used a sprint that uh, comes down by one. Walk. Um, hopefully I can get at least one star here. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> so these two I'll bring with me. They are removed from the board. And let's see, I can grab the planning card, move one space, or gain back a health. I'll grab the health, and I think I'll move a space. The planning card is good, but I, I don't think I need it imminently. So I got the health back. I'll move here. That puts me within range of the gardener's shed, so I can grab a search and have... Uh, Let's see, the Gardener's Shed has the prayer book, um, which goes with the atonement card. Then finally, looking at the cards I have left, I think, uh, I think I'll hang on to them, actually. So these are expended. I have uh, four time. Um, I'm going to grab an atonement and a search for the next turn. And then we'll uh, sort these back. Walk, weak attack, focus, yeah, close call, sprint. Okay, Inky's turn. Um, terror card. Punishment of the gods. Unleash divine wrath twice. Oh, that's not good. So I discard uh, two random action cards, basically, since that's the punishment for... Uh, Right, so, oh, damn it, search. And walk. Perfect. So I can't move next turn. All right, so I guess let's go back there. Uh, Inkanyamba gets one move uh, towards the closest person. I'll, I guess, using my discretion, he can go to either of these groups. Actually, it's not my discretion. It's uh, the, this actually came up in the comments of a previous video. It's the uh, largest group that uh, he moves towards if there's a tie. So now they're uh, equal. So this guy gets killed. Uh, this goes up. Ah, oh, man, and the uh, Divine Wrath gets triggered again. See, this is why it's hard to deal with uh, both of these Wrath tracks at once. Um, so I lose a focus. So what do I have left? I have an Atonement and a short rest for the next turn. Wow. Um, I could actually move a space with my energy drink, though, and uh, take that guy with me that way. Um, that might be worth doing, actually, but uh, we'll get there momentarily. Um, so, yeah, that's, I think... Oh, I draw an event card also. The tour guide. Uh, I spent many years as a tour guide at a historic site, so uh, let's see if I can relate to this. The victim closest to me is the tour guide. As long as he's with me... Once per turn, whenever I move at least one space, I can move an additional space. If he's killed, the uh, Divine Wrath goes up by six. Um, so, I don't think this guy's going to be in play very long, but uh, I'll swap him out with uh, the orange meeple, as the uh, card specified. <laughs> yeah, um... The extra movement is nice, but I think I want to uh, get him to the exit and complete my card here, uh, first and foremost. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it for that round. Um, upkeep, we don't have anything to upkeep. Oh, I do, actually, we do have to panic the uh, two guys in the space, and Kenyama killed them, so skip that so we'll do that both at once one guy moves two three so he goes that way the other guy goes one uh let's see i guess there isn't a one i guess they just yeah three goes this way one i guess just stays where he is so he's gonna get shredded next turn probably um Hmm. Oh well. 
All right, so I think we now are back at the top of the order. So I'm gonna use my atonement first and foremost, try to bring the uh, Divine Wrath down. Okay, so one success, we can decrease either Wrath Track by one. I don't even have enough cards to think about discarding anything. Um, so we'll bring the Divine Wrath down by one. And that's expended. I have a short rest. I might as well just hold on to that. Um, or I could use it to get my an extra time. I'll decide actually momentarily. I'm going to use my energy drink to move an extra space. So that's uh, expended. And I'll move this way, bringing the tour guide with me. Um, and that completes my card. So I'll grab the planning card first, and then we will uh, flip Rico over. So once per action phase, if an enemy is within two spaces, I can move automatically uh, to their space for free, and then I can use another action card to bounce away. I think that's actually how the uh, lore book phrases it. Okay, um... Also, she, uh, if she rescues additional victims, she gets uh, an extra time unit. So I think I will go ahead and discard my short rest for one extra time, bringing it up to seven. And for my seven, I'm ending my action phase now. Um, for my seven, uh, well, first I'll get my zero costs back. Um, then I'll grab a... Furious Strike, and I'll grab a guard just in case, maybe. Um, incidentally, there's a search here that should have been filtered back that way. Um, so actually, yeah, I'll grab the Furious Strike, I'll grab a search, and I'll grab a... Uh, Four, five, six, I have seven. So one more is a close call. So that'll be reset. Okay. Um, should have gotten maybe a sprint, but I have both walks at least. So uh, that's fine for now. All right, so killer phase. He attacks in his space. So this guy's a goner. We increase the number of victims, uh, I'm sorry, we increase the Divine Wrath by the number of victims in sacred spaces. So that goes up to five. Um, then uh, we draw the Terror card. No whammies. Wrath of the Defilers. Unleash the Killer Wrath. So that's still on three. Um, that means the horror level comes up by one. We then increase the uh, Wrath... Uh, killer Wrath by the number of uh, victims that have been saved, so that's five. Ooh, two, three, four, five. And then Inkanyamba moves uh, towards the closest victim and attacks. So this guy's gone. I guess the good news is we have denied him fully maxing out his, uh, his bloodlust. But, uh, yeah, it's still not a deal. So, anyway. Um, I think I'll do. I'm not within two spaces to be able to use her final ability at this juncture. So I think I'm going to go to... Uh, see if I can go to the groundskeeper shed here and search it and grab... Uh, I think there's a prayer book there. Or there could even be something else there. Who knows? Um, so... Get my walks ready before I roll. There's one of them. And... <coughs> Do I want to discard anything? I'll discard... One focus. I don't want to discard both of them, so I'll discard the... Close call, I guess. Um, so I'll move one space one time. I'll use the other walk. Let's see if I can get to the shed. Nice. 
So we can go there. And too bad I didn't get that roll last time because I only needed one space. So that's there. And I'll use a search. Uh, sweet. So we can actually look at the uh, top two item cards. Um, choose one of them and put the other either on top or on bottom. Okay, so we have a prayer book. Or, Shaman's Bones, look at the next tarot card and either place it on the top or the bottom. I think the prayer book is probably in my best interest. That looks like it has two uses. So, yeah, I'll grab that. And I'll actually put the uh, Shaman's Bones on the bottom. And I think I'll stay at the... Uh, groundskeeper shed for the time being um what other actions do i have i'll use a focus to uh try to bring down the horror level a bit <laughs> there we go um so i actually get a time back and this comes down to four and then I have planning, I have furious strike and weak attack in hand. Um, we'll discard the weak attack for a time. So I have five and then I'll end my action phase. Uh, so I'm gonna grab for my uh, five, I'll grab an atonement. Um, that's two, so I have three more. Grab a sprint, no, I'll grab, oh boy. <laughs> I want both a search and a sprint. Um, I think at this moment the search is more critical, so I'll grab that. And then a close call. And then I get my short rest back also. So I'm not going to be able to move this next turn, unfortunately, but uh, I do have other things I can do for the time being. Uh, so these all were used. Okay, uh, I forgot to put the little markers on uh, the prayer book. Okay, so we're up to Inkanyama's phase. Uh, he doesn't have anybody in his space to attack, so we'll go straight to the terror card. Oh, this is a lot of text. Let me just carve my initials right here. Increase the uh, Divine Wrath by the number of victims at sacred spaces. So that goes up by two. Uh, unleash the Divine Wrath. So discard a random action card. Lose two time and the horror level goes up. Do those first. Uh, And I lose a close call. I, I guess I can deal with that. Um, actually, that would go over here since it won't go back to the market yet next turn. Place two new victims on the Sacred Shrine. Then all victims adjacent to the Sacred Shrine uh, move to it. They're all there already. So, Oy, that could have gone better. <laughs> All right, so I think we're back up to the top. Um, I'll first and foremost use my atonement and I add one success to whatever I roll here. So I get at least one. Uh, so I can discard. I don't really have anything I want to discard, unfortunately. So I'll just consider that, I guess, one success, and I'll move the Divine Wrath down by one. And I used one use on that prayer book. So this is discarded. I'll use my search. Um, I'm actually going to use, uh, I think, planning first. Or, uh... Oh, no, I, I don't, it doesn't use a time, sorry. 
Maybe I'll use a planning first to try to, uh, yeah, I'll hang on to that. I'll just do search straight up. Okay, so single success. So we can take the top card. At the groundskeeper's shed is a ceremonial mask. Uh, whenever I receive damage, choose either of the wrath tracks and decrease by the amount of damage received. So that could be helpful, actually. Um, put that there, I guess. That's still in my backpack. Okay, so that used a time. And I think I'm going to call it there. I'll hang on to my short rest planning and furious strike. Um, yeah, so I'll go to the uh, market phase with my three time left. And grab a sprint. You know, actually, hold that, reverse it. Um, I'll discard my short rest for an extra time, and I just dropped everything, so I'll get four. And I'll grab a sprint. You know, actually, I'll grab a, an atonement and a search. So, I'll skip my zero costs. These go back there. Uh, top was here. Search is here. Zero cost there. Okay, so at least we have a lot of uh, options for the next turn. <laughs> Um, in Kanyamba's turn, he's still where he was. Oh, I forgot to unleash his dark power, didn't I? When it passed three, we'll do it now. Uh, whenever in Kanyamba kills a victim, kill a second victim in an adjacent space if able. Um, I don't think that affects the game too much. I don't think there's any others he would have killed. I could be wrong on that. This is a big error, so I do apologize for that. Um, and it will certainly affect uh, these guys very soon, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I, I, he may have... It may be that he was supposed to kill at least one extra person, maybe two. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Anyway... Boiling Anger, uh, great. So he gets even more health. Uh, then once during each upkeep, we make a horror roll. Um, if we get a success, it has no effect. If it doesn't, the uh, Killer Wrath will go up by one, which means it'll actually go up by two <laughs> uh, because of the other power. Um, so we need to start doing some damage very soon to Inkanyamba. Uh, he doesn't move, fortunately, so nobody else killed this turn. We do have to uh, roll for that Boiling Anger. And we got a success, so no effect there. And now I think we're back at the top of the order. Um, the tour guide here is uh, discarded, by the way, just to make some room. Alright, so I'll use an Atonement, and I'll use up my prayer book in the process. So... Uh, potential success. Uh, I'll discard a focus and a weak attack to get one star on the dice, and then I do get another star from the prayer book, so that's two. Um, so I can uh, decrease either of the wrath tracks by half, round it up. Uh, this one's at eight, this one's at six, and this is the more dangerous at the moment, so I'll drop this down to four. Uh, then I'll search the groundskeeper shed while I'm here, and we get a success. So, hopefully this will be a weapon or something. Pepper spray. If the killer is in your space, discard this to immediately end the killer phase. Ignore remaining movement attacks and any other effects. That's better than nothing, I guess. Um, the prayer book's discarded, incidentally. The tribal mask there. Uh, the search is expended. Um, so this should actually be on five. Then I'll use a focus to try to bring the horror level down somewhat. And we can do that. So this comes down again, as does that. 
And then uh, I guess it's probably time to get away from that uh, groundskeeper shed. So uh, I'll use a walk. And I think it's time to start trying to do some damage to Inkinyanda before he gets uh, too much more powerful. <coughs> Excuse me. So, walk one. Um, there's that. And there. I'll save the other walk so I have some movement next turn. I will discard. I don't have anything to discard. Never mind. Um, but I will give it a drink. Okay, so I have two time to buy with. I'll just grab a sprint for this one. I uh, do get a short rest back also. Okay. So, terror card. Wrath of Opportunity. Unleash the Killer Wrath. So, horror level comes up. By one, he moves uh, one movement unit to the closest and then attacks. Um, so, he's moving three now. Two and three, so he's kind of there. So, he'll kill one of these guys. That bumps this up. And... Then we increase the Killer Wrath by the number of action cards in hand, which is five. Uh, and actually we get uh, one more because of the uh, Outrage Holic. So unfortunately the Killer Wrath is maxed at this point. Um, then we also have to uh, panic the... Uh, Victims in his space. So I'm going to do two of them. One of three. Uh, one seems to stay where he is. Three moves there. And then one more. Five. Uh, five is here. All right. And then we also unleash the uh, Divine Wrath, don't we? This is fun. See, this again is why it's kind of hard to deal with. Oh boy, uh, I need to use a focus. And I don't think I have a focus left. So I only have one dice to work with <laughs> on the uh, next turn. That is a uh, dynamite. <laughs> Oof. Um... Yeah, uh, gotta get that, uh, horror level down, and I don't have a means of doing it at the moment. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we do have to roll, uh, for the boiling anger as well. And it's a four, but it's already maxed, so I guess it can't go up any further than that at the very least. So... Oh, and actually, we have the Dark Lightning, the Dark Power. Uh, whenever he kills a victim, kill a second victim in an adjacent space if we're able to. <laughs> uh, so another guy gets wiped out. This comes up. And increase the uh, Divine Wrath by the uh, number of victims in sacred spaces, which is still one. And then unleash it. <sighs> so we have the horror level come up again, which it can't, so that translates into Bloodlust getting maxed. The fear level, uh, we did that already. We discard a random action card, and I lose two time for the next turn. Fortunately, if there is a fortunate to it, um, I don't have much to do on the next turn anyway, uh, with my one dice, so short rest goes. Okay, man. This is uh, not looking great for Reiko, despite having maxed out her card and everything. Um, do I even want to use a sprint or a walk on this next turn? Um, you know what I'll do? I'll move to the, if I can, to the groundskeeper's shed. See if I can search it next turn. 
Um, well, I don't know. I actually know what the last item there is, and uh, I don't think it's anything we need at the moment. Um, yeah, I will use a walk, theoretically, just to try and actually I succeed, <laughs> so I can move here. Um, come down, and the walk is expanded. I have a sprint. I'm not even going to try to roll that with uh, just one dice. Um, yeah, I'll call my action phase there. So, killer phase. Um, well, I can already tell you what happens. He's going to kill the last two victims with his force lightning or whatever it is. Uh, so these both get wiped out. The bloodlust is already maxed. Um... Yeah, I should have done my market phase already. Sorry. That is what's going to happen anyway. Um, so I'll grab my zero cost. I have three. So I will grab an atonement. Yeah, I'll grab an atonement. And a close call. Okay, now um, he killed those victims. Uh, Fortunately, nothing really happens at this point. Um, since all the victims are gone, we do still draw a terror card, which is the last one. They disrespected him, and now he wants their blood. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, uh, we actually can't do that because... Um, because uh, all the victims are gone. <laughs> um, so I guess this just kind of gets discarded. Uh, yeah, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that, but since it is the last tarot card, that I think just gets discarded. Uh, going to the uh, upkeep phase, we have a uh, horror roll for boiling anger. Uh, no success, but no effect because it is already maxed. Um, then we get the check for the finale. So... On uh, the killer, uh, the killer's turn, unleash the uh, the uh, killer wrath. Uh, then he gets movement. Uh, when this is revealed, increase the killer wrath to ten, which it already is. Then take up to six time worth of action cards into my hand. It actually helps me out a little bit there, at least. So I have six time worth of action cards. I'll grab. I'll grab Distraction for three. Uh, hopefully bring the horror level down to get my dice back. And I'll grab a guard for two and a close call. Um, so that's six. So that was kind of, sort of helpful. <laughs> um, maybe. Okay, so Inkanyama is 1-2, so he's still not close enough for me to do my, like, bounce action here. Um, although I could walk one space, and then he would be. So I'm going to use an Atonement first. No, I'll use a Distraction first at any rate. I'll use a Focus first, see if I can get my, uh, you know, I'll use the Focus first to try to get down by one, and then I'll use a Distraction to try to bring it down more. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, bam. Um, all right, so that there. Um, oh, these should have uh, gone to the market. Um, then there's a distraction. Sorry, get my other dice back. I'll try to bring it down more. Double success. Nice. So two, and I actually gain two time. Okay, now I will try to, I'll use the other focus actually, um, to try to bring it down even more. Will I do that? I don't know. Um, yeah, I might as well. Uh, we're kind of at the uh, end game phase here where it's just me and the killer left, so uh, might as well go for broke. 
Um, so that's one success on uh, the focus. So there, there. I'm gonna use an atonement. <laughs> Here's a close call to re-roll one of those. Re-roll the one that was a complete fail. Please, please, please. Yes, five. <coughs> Five's a success. So, do I want to turn that into a double success? I think I do, actually. I'll, uh, I'll discard. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to discard anything. I'll discard the weak attack and the close call, so I can decrease this one of these by half, and I'll decrease the uh, Killer Wrath. And then I'll use a walk. <laughs> I'm burning through all my actions here. But I'll use a walk and try to move to this space. Or not. <laughs> uh, I'm decent on health actually so I will sacrifice one of those at two times to move one space and now I am within range to trigger my uh, my bonus action so uh, we'll have Reiko move to the sacred shrine and I'll go for my Furious Strike. Alright, so, rolled for uh, Furious Strike. Our level comes down one more. Um, and Kanyama takes two damage, so his Boiling Anger is done. And I'm going to see if I can sprint away from him. Two spaces. Um, two. That's not really going to put enough distance between me and him, of course, but that's something. Okay, so for the killer phase. Uh, no, sorry, market phase first. I have uh, three time. I'm going to grab. Grab a search. Yeah, I'll grab a search. And my zero costs, and unfortunately I just lose one because I don't have a close call available. <laughs> um, so he's getting filtered back. Uh, I actually think I'm going to end up failing this game as well, but we gave it a good shot. At least this is the closest, I think, to defeating in Kenyamba at Sacred Groves that I've come. But I did a lot of stuff that last turn. Uh, oh, distractions here. Um, Alright. So, uh, Killer's turn. We unleash the Killer Wrath. So this time, because I reduced it, it comes up by two. That should be a six. Um, then... He moves towards the closest target, which is me. It's the only target. And attacks once. Um, I'll, uh, I'll actually discard the pepper spray to end his turn before he can attack. Um, yeah, so that'll immediately end the killer phase. Um, we don't have the boiling uh, rage to deal with anymore. So, for this turn, I'm gonna. I try to walk one space to that lost and found and search it. So we can move one. And I'll take the uh, trash can lid, which is effectively a shield. All right, so the walk is expended. Um, yeah, my search was expanded, sorry. 
and I'll go ahead and use a short rest, I think, to try to get a little bit of health back. Which we do. And I'll call it there, I think. There's not much else I can do. So for purchasing, I get my zeros, and then I have three. Um, grab a guard, and I wish I could grab another search, too. Is there anything I would want to... Discard there, I had a plan, I'm gonna guard. Um, yeah, retroactively, I'll discard the first guard I had, um, just to get one extra time. So I had four to work with. I bought another guard, and uh, I will buy a search. See if I can get a weapon or something next turn at the uh, Lost and Found. Um, so that's it for that phase. These go back. Um, then, uh, killer phase, we unleash the killer wrath again, unfortunately. Um, then he moves and attacks. This time I'll, uh, use a guard. Alright, so roll for guard. Okay, so roll for guard. Ooh, double success, so we ignore all of his uh, damage this turn. That's nice. And... Yeah, that's it. So, um... Upkeep phase, we don't have anything to do. Uh, so, back up to the top. Um, use the search first. Alright, so we can take the top item. Uh, that should be at six now. It's at five. Aluminum bat. Okay. Whenever you inflict damage with the aluminum bat, you may immediately discard a minor dark power, including any health markers on it. I like that. So, uh, that uses two, uh, two hands. So, I'll move the uh, trash can lid. You know what, actually, I'll put the bat in my uh, backpack for now just because I can potentially use the trash can lid as a shield when he attacks. Then on my upkeep phase, I can reorganize my uh, backpack. Um, so that guard is discarded anyway. Okay, so um, I searched already. Uh, then I will focus because that's getting dangerously close to... Uh, I will focus, and can bring this down by one. I'll use the other focus then to... Uh, try to completely... Uh, try to make it uh, somewhat safe for uh, <laughs> the next turn, at least. All right, so... That's down to four. I think this may not be wise, but I think I will uh, discard my walk for uh, one extra time. So for buying, get my zero cost. I have four, and I'm going to grab a... I think... a retaliate. Okay, so killer phase, we unleash the killer wrath, so the horror level comes back up. Then, uh, in Kanyama attack. I'll use that retaliate I just bought, so, uh, we get one success, so I reduce my damage by two. He's dealing five. Um, then I'll use, uh, I think I'll use the trash can lid to absorb two more of the damage. And I'll take one. Whenever I receive damage, because I have the Tribal Mask, I can uh, decrease one of the Wrath Tracks by the amount of damage received. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the Killer Wrath down by one. 
Okay, so upkeep phase. Now I'm going to switch the trash can lid with the aluminum bat. The retaliate was discarded, incidentally. That actually should stay here. Okay, so back to the top of the order. Um, I'll go ahead and use a weak attack on uh, Inkadamba. See if I can wipe out his dark power there. So we get one hit, I take one more damage, which uh, I'll actually go ahead and decrease the Killer Wrath again. Um, and then uh, I do one damage to Inkadamba and his... Uh, Sorry, just have to move this to get rid of it. He loses his dark power and then takes one more damage from the bat. So we've drawn blood on him anyway. <laughs> this is going to be very, very close if I do win it, which is still by no means a guarantee. <laughs> I'm going to then discard a walk to get one time back. the short rest do I want to do anything with that um, uh, yeah I might as well use the short rest and see if I can get some health back so we got a six so I lose one of my time and get one health unit back at least Okay, so purchasing phase, that's all I can do on the action phase. So purchasing, grab my zeros, and I have six to work with. Um, okay, right, so purchasing phase, I'm going to, uh, I have six to work with. I'm going to grab a sprint for two, a guard for two, and I'll grab a search again, see if I can get a, an even better weapon, perhaps. Um... I have a feeling I'm going to use the guard momentarily. <laughs> so in Kanyama's phase, we unleash this, which brings us back. So I only have one dice to work with, unfortunately. Um, he gets an attack on me. Which I'll mitigate with the guard. Uh, discard a walk and a focus, I guess. Um... Yeah, discard a walk and a focus to uh, get one success. So he still hits for uh, three. So that brings me down to almost no health. Where did this victim come from? Um, yeah, so that guard is expended. Um, still took damage, but I can decrease the uh, wrath level. So. Um, I'll just decrease the Killer Wrath again. Um, yeah. So, I have my one dice to work with. Um, I'll use the focus and see if I can get my other dice back first and foremost. Oh, um... I'll regret it, but I'll discard planning and short rest to get one success there. Um, so that'll decrease it. I do get my dice back at least. I will search. Ooh, nice. Uh, so I can look at both ser both the uh, searchable cards here. Take one. I have Rico's Axe, so uh, perfect. So I'll take her axe. Put the uh, aluminum bat back in uh, my backpack here. And then for my last card, um, I'm going to try to sprint away.
Well, actually, using the sprint doesn't really make sense. I shouldn't have even bought it because he has five movement, which uh, means basically any place I move, he's still going to be able to catch up with me. Um, yeah. So, for purchasing, I do have four time left. I'll grab the retaliate and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so, killer phase. Increase the killer wrath by one. Um, that's what unleashing it does when it was down to the bottom. Uh, then he attacked. And I'm going to use the retaliate, hopefully. And we have a double success. So I ignore his damage, and then he's going to take four from uh, two, three, and four. Uh, two from the axe, two from the retaliate itself. Um, and then I may roll an additional die when resolving the... Uh... Okay, so I'm just going to fix this. Okay, so, sorry, I kind of lost track of where I was. The Retaliate was uh, the end of Inkinyamba's turn. Um, these cards should have been back on the market. Okay, so, back up to uh, the top of the order. Um... So, I will use the weak attack to uh, see if I can take out Inkanyamba here. Uh, yeah, he has four health left, so if I hit with a fully successful, well, that'll bring him down to by three if I'm fully successful. So, um, I actually get an extra dice because my health is down to my last token there. Um, so I get the adrenaline boost. Uh, so I'll use a weak attack. If I uh, roll a double success, I'll do three damage to him. And I got it. So uh, we do two from the axe. So that's three total. Okay. Um, Let's see, uh, he actually, now I get another dice because he's on his lowest uh, final setting, so yeah, this uh, this is coming down to the wire, man. Um, let's see, uh, I have a walk and a sprint, um, and you know what, I'm going to stand my ground, I'm going to discard both of those, get two extra time, and I'm going to grab a... Uh, have eight time to purchase with. So I'm going to grab for uh, four of the Furious Strike. I don't think I need the Critical Strike at this point. I'll grab an Improvise for three. Yeah, I'll grab an Improvise for three and a Close Call for... Well, actually, I don't want to... Yeah. All right, so I'll buy a Furious Strike for four. And then two guards, just in case one doesn't work. I get my zero costs as well. Um, so yeah, this is going to come down to the wire, I think. In Kenyamba's turn, uh, we unleash the Divine Wrath. Uh, sorry, the Killer Wrath, so this comes up by two. Um, then he gets his attack, and I'm going to use a guard. I have fortunately four dice to uh, work with here. And we rolled a three, so uh, that'll uh, reduce it by two, his hit. And I'll use the other guard to uh, try to avoid the rest of that damage. I just need one star if I can get that. That'd be great, and there it is, one star. So ignore all of his damage. And actually, I take that back. He's doing f so. Yeah, that'll that'll take uh, 
that'll take care of it. Um, and then we go back to the top of the order. I have a Furious Strike in my hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it, see if I can take him out. Three hits. <laughs> so, uh, horror level comes down. Uh, he takes uh, four damage, two from the attack. One from the, uh, rather, two from the attack, two from the axe. We turn it over. Ah, oh, damn it. Plot twist. We take him down, but he gets three more health. And then this uh, becomes a white token. All right, so I thought we had him. Um, I guess we didn't. So we'll see what happens uh, next. I have a focus and a short rest. Um, I lose one dice because his health came up. Uh, so I have, still have three. Hmm. It's dangerous, but uh, I almost want to hold at my low health here because uh, I have the extra dice with it. So yeah, I think I'll call my action there. I'm going to discard walk to get an additional time. And I'll discard a focus as well. Okay, so going into purchasing, I have uh, six, sorry, I have eight time units. So I'll take my zeros back first, which includes the weak attack. But uh, I probably want to make doubly sure. I will use four, half of my uh, purchasing power to grab a retaliate, because I think I'm going to need it. Then uh, grab a close call. So that will be uh, three left. I'll grab an improvise and a close call for the remaining four. Okay, so I'm going to put that retaliate right on top because I'm going to need it. Uh, we unleash the killer wrath. Our level comes up by one. Uh, he then moves towards me and he's already on my space. <coughs> then uh, for his actual action, he... Uh, moves towards me and attacks. I'm going to use the Retaliate. I potentially could take him out with the Retaliate, I think. Um, but we'll see. So I have one success. That reduces the... Uh, that reduces it by two. So we'll see. Oh, plot twist on my side. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so I get two health back. He also takes one damage from uh, from the Retaliate, plus two from the Axe I'm holding. So he's actually down, so I get my extra dice back, even though I lost it here, by gaining health. So this is, we're like duking it out here, and nobody can take the other one down. Um, <coughs> it's a dramatic end, to say the least. Okay, so back up to the top. Um, the Retaliate is spent. I have a weak attack, which will do it if uh, if I'm successful on it. So we'll do weak attack. Roll for it. And two damage. Uh, well, two successes, so one damage, which is enough. I finally, finally took down. In Kanyanda at Sacred Groves. That was a tight game, to say the least. Wow. Um, I might have even made a few mistakes there. Um, I will admit that ahead of time, since I did at one point kind of lose track of what I was doing. But, uh, yeah, finally did it. Finally uh, took him down. So I guess 
next time we'll have to do Creech Manor for a video, since we haven't yet. Uh, we did finally do Sacred Groves, and then of course I do want to do Terror from above, and then we'll probably start mixing and matching a little more, even though we kind of mixed a match already, both on uh, Barbara versus Hans, and now Reiko versus Ink and Yamba. Um, yeah, anyway, this is running a little long now, so I'll call it a day. Have a good night.